end. So this, this back third from the sad shed to my cage, this will be garden area. Okay, this is the backyard and it's day one, very, very behind in maintenance and there were lots of ideas that, and then COVID hit and it didn't get done. All these bricks that I got um, from the Nextdoor app, free from neighbors and some stones. And then I got these stones again from the app. And um, so looking forward to those. The lumber there is trash and lots more bricks over here. And you see my grass has already gone to seed. What little bit of grass there is. That cage over there is mostly my eBay. And so that's my hustle to make some eBay stuff. And I have some chairs over here. And this orange fence was going to be a garden area um, just before COVID hit. And then we changed our priorities and didn't work on it. Um, there are more bricks back here that we came through the alley and just threw them over the fence. Some are clean, some have cement on them, but they will be just fine for the garden beds. And this blasted trumpet vine ivy is so invasive. This neighborhood's very old. Our house was built in 52 and it's just a wood frame house. And um, so this stuff is everywhere. It just pops up all over, all over the yard, even when it is being maintained. This has not been maintained. I have basically not been home any uh, normal hours I could work on it for the last three months. Continuing to work on this backyard and the tall knee-high grass is now gone. That's my double compost which now part of it has fallen down um, and everything I do is as frugal as I possibly can until I have nothing else I can find to, to substitute. Um, all this cleanup I'm doing um, with the shade so once it's clean then I'll cut it all back. Oh, I can't stand this trumpet vine. It just pops up everywhere. So I've dug out some of the fencing and that is now over here and back here in the corner. And um, I'm gonna continue to tear out this fencing back here that's just laying there. They were free and I collected this a couple of years ago expecting to build me a garden and COVID happened and all kinds of life stuff happened. So no time to start, but today. So here we are. When the bricks are full of cement like this, they're extra heavy because it's solid plus, you know, a half inch to inch and a half of cement on each brick. Um, and it goes all the way through to both sides where somebody's taken down a chimney or who knows what they did with it. 
but they're still useful for perimeters of um, some garden beds. But waste not, want not, so I keep going. So day two, lots of work. It's um, 75 degrees right now, but it's going to get to a nice 99 degrees today and we're running 10 to 15 degrees above average. So nice and balmy for day two. And there's lots of shade. I'm not cutting any of the shade down until after I have done all my cleanup. I'm saving all the shade to work beneath until I'm ready to expose um, the ground to more sunlight and not all that on me. So here we go, let's turn it around. This we found for free. It's not the most attractive, but I do have quite a bit of fencing material that I eventually will swap out. Um, but I do keep um, any potential garden area fenced in away from the dogs. And then these leaves are good leaves. They're from back here along the fence line. And so these will go to the compost. Here's where I started sorting bricks. And so here's my progress on my bricks. And so I've got these cream color ones and they have a different shape hole. And I have reds and some other whites back here. Some shorties. All of these have mortar on them. So there's quite a bit starting to fill up now. And then all my broken ones, they will not be wasted. This is um, a dog kennel cage, 10 by 10, that I put a really heavy duty clear tarp on top. Um, and I protected it from the direction that the storms come in, which is from the west and from the south. So even though this east wall is not covered, it really doesn't get much water. And what is in there is just dishes, glass, glass and metal, and that's it. This is my compost bins and this wall over here has fallen down some. There are some spaces in between and I've left vent spaces um, throughout between the two bins. And I would get, um, I don't have any catching system for rainwater yet. Um, that's further on down the list, but I do put tap water in two five gallon buckets and I let the um, chlorine evaporate out of them, and, but I keep them protected from mosquitoes. And then once the chlorine is gone after a day or two, like if I'm out here working, I'll have the lid off, then I close it up. Um, and then I can put the, the water on the compost if it's too dry and turn it over, give it a good turn. Okay, it's day three today, and I'm gonna continue stacking the bricks. I have more leaves to rake, so we've got some more bricks back here, more leaves to gather up. Oh, lots and lots of leaves to catch up on, but we're getting there. Um, yesterday, I did eight bags, and it's another very windy day. Uh, we've had 25 mile an hour gusty winds, for days and uh, upper 90s.
So this isn't the final of what this section will look like. Um, I've been putting all of my fencing material here. So all of this I didn't pay anything for. Here's some fencing that's pretty sturdy, um, a trellis that's upside down, um, some regular chain length fencing, and some other just various fencing that's probably a little bit taller than my knee. And um, this roll here I already had. Um, so over here yesterday, um, I cleared out all the overgrowth and all the leaves from inside this fence section right here. And there will be um, two fruit trees. I know it's shaded right now with just this partial sun coming through, but um, these trees are gonna be trimmed back and there is a wild pecan tree that's way too close to the house. So that will go. You see it's windy and work is not good for good hair. So that's what you get. But um, so that's kind of cleaned out a little bit now. The leaves are out and those leaves are gonna be good for, um, to go to my uh, compost and this tarp has completely deteriorated. I need to replace these, but this keeps, um, well, we, I could probably just let it go now, take it off because now the dogs can't get to the double gate. And, but before they could get over here to this double gate and see everybody who walked and every little critter and squirrel and the cats. There's Mikito. Mikito, hey, what you doing? Come here. Come here. What you doing? You gonna say hi? Can you say hi? Hi. I love you. So good boy. Yeah, do good boy. Whoops, you're getting grass on you. Okay. We got work to do. Okay, you ready? You ready? You ready to work? Okay. Does a lot of watching, very experienced watcher.